All right, guys, you can hear the sound. That is the drain pump. And if you're having this issue with your dishwasher, it's a GE. That is your pressure sensor. It takes a measurement, a reading from the amount of water that is in your tub. And it sends a signal to the board to turn it off or to say that's enough water. Sometimes they get stuck and the drain pump stays on. So what we're gonna do here, make sure you keep that gasket, that black O-ring, do not lose that. Now we're gonna disconnect this, but before we do that, we're gonna tap it just to shake the diaphragm up. Now these are just things you can do, they're cheap, so you can order one, but sometimes they're not bad. So you just tap them, not too crazy. You can even spray a tabula WD-40 and that will loosen up the diaphragm. And the diaphragm is nothing more than a flexible uh, rubber switch that goes back and forth pretty much. And it sends a signal to turn water off, to turn on the drain pump basically. So it's a flood safe thing as well. And it stops the unit from overflowing in the event of too much water going in. So you can also remove it, which I'm going to do. I didn't show how to do it, but imagine blowing up a balloon. You're gonna put the open piece to your lips, blow, not crazy blow, but blow enough to where you can feel some pressure and a give. And then you're going to put it back onto the machine. But before you do, connect the wires. It's a lot easier. Make sure you don't lose that O-ring. That's your gasket. And you'll know for sure once you have reconnected and don't run the dishwasher with that off it will just flood your dishwasher so make sure you put it back on and right away if that was not fixed the drain pump would turn on so that tells you right now when it's connected one day this week here we go. Now, if that unit or pressure switch was still in the flood position, then it would be turning on the drain pump. So we're gonna reconnect. And always do a run, run a cycle before you actually seal the unit up. You wanna make sure that you don't have any leaks. So leave that bottom piece off. Don't put the phone back yet. Or the sound dampening material. Okay, we're gonna turn the unit on, take a listen. Letting water in. No leaks, but you want to make sure if by any chance you see any leaking or dripping, then you did not put something on correctly. And it's still letting water in. And you can see I'm putting the cover on. Shortly you'll see me remove it, so don't put yours on because you want to verify that you don't have 
anything leaking because obviously if you have a leak you'll never know and it's still late so you want to verify that so So it's gonna start washing now. So checking for leaks again, very important. And we're good, no leaks. All right guys, so that's pretty much that on that so if you've done all the above and your dishwasher is still stuck in the drain you might need to replace the pressure switch slash sensor I will leave a link to it a lot of times it's not the board sometimes it is but most often if you unplug that switch and it fixes the issue then replace the switch it is cheaper Thanks for watching.